go exploring, Mom. Okay? Okay. Just keep away from the pier. It's old. I will. Mom. Hey, Mom, wake up. Mm -mm. Wake up. You've been asleep all day. Okay, it's been... <sighs> I'm up. Sorry. Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. It's been... I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this weekend. Sorry. Just let me get some coffee. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. I just wanted to go to the bathroom, but it's dark outside. I'm sorry. Go get the flashlight and I'll come out with you. Look at the stars, Espen. I do, just a sec. It's cold out here, Espen. Are you coming? I'm coming, Mom. Just give me a minute. You wait right here, won't you? Of course. So, what do you want to do tonight? Mom, I'm trying to pee here. We could make some hot chocolate. Mom! Go away! Just wait up the path. I can't go while you're standing there. <laughs> okay, little man. If you say so. You done, Espen? Espen? Stop messing around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. I mean it, Espen. Come out. Jesus, Espen. What are you doing? Sorry. I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. You were getting there. Let's go inside. 
I don't know if I want to make you hot chocolate anymore. I was only kidding. I'm sorry. Please, can we have hot chocolate? Okay. But don't scare me again. And you're washing the cups. Okay. Hey, can I go down to the pier in the morning? I want to try catch some crabs. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. Anyway, the pier's broken and dangerous. Please don't go down there by yourself. Fine. But I still want hot chocolate. I'm not going to pretend I was a great mother. When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing. My nightmare had come true, and I was left raising a child I didn't love. My friends became distant, and Espen's father and I began to fight. I resented them both, and one day, Espen and me were alone. But as Espen got older, I slowly began to realize something. I did love him. I loved him so much I ached. He became my best friend, my favorite thing. Then I lost him. We lost each other. And I don't know if I can forgive myself. Or Espen. Espen? Why didn't you wake me up? Espen? Want some breakfast? Or lunch? We have eggs and bacon. Guess he's out playing. I loved our room at the cabin. Espen's reflectors looked nice in the sunlight and his drawings fascinated me. He soaked up the world and it bled from his imagination to the page in pastels and pen. The process always seemed to distill the harsh world into something pure. Espen? <sighs> it's freezing. What is he doing out in this cold? Espen? I hope you're not down by the pier. I told you that thing's dangerous. Espen? Talk to me, little man. Hey! from my son. Jesus! Jesus! Espen! Get away from him! Espen, I'm coming!
happening? Espen! Hello? Hey, is someone there? There was a folktale in the town where I was born about a man called Old Eric. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children who misbehaved. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good or Old Eric would come and take me. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from the folktales. But later, later I wasn't so sure.
dropped it. I'm coming, Espen! Espen loved his reflectors. He collected them from magazines and cereal boxes, and I bought him a couple from the gas station by our house. He'd hang them from the curtain pole at the cabin and wave his flashlight over them at night to watch them shine. I could hardly believe any of this was happening, but what I did know was the reflector I found was his. What I couldn't know at the time was that he'd left me more, a trail, and that as long as I stumbled across these reflectors now and then, that Espen was still alive. Be far ahead. Espen's flashlight. No, Espen, please don't hurt him. Please, don't you hurt him. I'm coming, Espen. 